Hi Leah, welcome back to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing amazing out there. Today is a bonus read for being awesome supporters of this channel. You guys came in rocking it for the month of November, so here's my way of showing gratitude to you guys. So I don't have my intention set on this being a love reading, a career reading, or whatever. It's whatever comes out in the spread is what I'm going to talk about, so let's do this. Spirit, what do we have for Leo today? What is the energy for my Leos that are watching this reading today? I would like a nine card spread. Leo is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today. As long as these messages are for Leo's highest and greatest good. Two more shuffles. One, two. Let's rock this deck for my lovely Leos. All right, first card out is the seven of wands, which is your minor arcana. Nice for you to show up today. We have the Nine of Cups, beautiful. The Ten of Cups. The Three of Swords, and it's being influenced by the Seven of Wands up here. The Two of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. All right. The Ten of Wands. And your advice is the Two of Swords. The overall energy on the bottom, the High Priestess. Major account for Cancer, but also Pisces. So, Leo, a lot of things happening for you this month, um, for the rest of this month, I should say. Now, with the Three of Swords influencing the Seven of Wands, this is telling me that in this time of your life, you're no longer allowing certain people access to your, your space. You see how you're this badass sitting in this bubble well, this is your energetic bubble, all right? And those rods down here are people in your life that you may have given access to you that didn't value it or didn't, you know, show you, you know, the love that you gave to them, right? You're no longer allowing these type of people in your life and you're working through your healing as we move forward into the new year, right? And with this nine of cups to the two of cups, Something is working out for you favorably moving forward. It's like things are starting to align with you the more you focus on your happiness and no longer allowing the wrong people into your life. Because the Nine of Cups to the Two of Cups is telling me that doors are opening up for you in regards to opportunities, whether in work, new friendships, new love, and it's leading you to the right people, right? The Two of Cups is the energy of connecting with people that you're meant to be connecting to. These are soulmates. These are people you have, you know, spiritual contracts with. They're, they're people that help us grow and evolve and how they're coming in to your life is bringing you a lot of joy. It's like you're, you're coming into this energy of, yes, I'm finally attracting the right friendships. I'm finally attracting the right work opportunities. I'm finally attracting, you know, romantic partners that see me for me and I don't have to do anything to get the love in return. Because I do feel like I have a Leo here that over gives with this Seven of Wands energy and now you feel like people have backed you into a corner where you have no choice but to show your, your mane and show your, your roar, essentially, right? And it's leading you to a beautiful, happy home life, Ten of Cups. Some of you guys may already have children and you're really focusing on your kids and if you don't have kids, you're surrounding yourself around family and friends that love the crap out of you, all right? You're not giving time and energy to anyone that will hurt you with that Three of Swords, Seven of Wands energy. And it's like you have a, be a bullshit meter at this point with that High Priestess energy. You can spot who is there for you and who's just gonna bring you more, more stress. Right, and you've got that wall up for the right people. It's okay to have a wall up. Sometimes walls do protect us from people who are not, you know, looking for our best interests. And we gotta have that wall there. It, the trick is to know when to let that wall down when you're connecting with someone that is wanting the same things as you, that's wanting a beautiful connection too. So I feel like you're gonna be getting a lot of downloads as we move into the new year, Leo. And these downloads that are going into your crown chakra, entering your, your mind's eye, is going to awaken something inside of you that you may have felt has been dormant all this time. Awaking that, that, that side of you that is just like determined, confident, and just is in that power of knowing to say no and letting that be a complete answer. Not 
over explaining yourself because I feel like I have a Leo here that over explains themselves when they're telling somebody no on something right because sometimes that eight of swords to the two of swords energy can be someone that is a bit of a people pleaser right not wanting to rock the boat not wanting to upset people but upsetting yourself just to make other people happy right and doing what's best for you is not selfish you know it's not and society conditioned a lot of us to think that being you know focused on what's good for us was selfish then we had to do what's best for everybody else but isn't the other people being selfish by expecting us to put our needs last to make them happy isn't that selfish i don't know who needed to hear that so i'm going to get a couple clarifiers why is leo coming in with this seven of wands energy influenced by the three of swords Somebody specifically broke your heart or some ones? It doesn't even have to be romantic. Why the seven of wands to the three of swords energy? This card already flew out. Temperance, major for Sagittarius. Temperance is telling me that you are, you know, bouncing your emotions during this time. You're no longer allowing people to have access over your emotions, all right? You're being very protective for pentacles. So I'm strongly getting a Leo here that in the past, you may have allowed people to trigger you into acting out of character, uh, getting loud or crying or whatever the case may be. And now you're no longer allowing people to have that power over how you feel about yourself throughout that day or how you will act or respond to a situation, right? Not, not allowing people to get you messy right you don't want to have friggin mascara dripping down your face anymore in public <laughs> now you now you know how to like just be completely you know stone cold when you're dealing with someone that's trying to trigger you into acting a fool and you're like no you're not getting that out of me you're not getting that out of me can i get a card on that that two of cups to the nine of cups Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, Leo, the link to my website is in the description box below of this video. Why the Nine of Cups, Two of Cups? Ace of Cups, King of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Look at that. You showing up as someone very confident, born to be a leader, not a follower. You are no longer juggling people, opportunities, situations, and now you're, you're feeling really balanced as we move into the new year. And something new is starting for you, whether this is a new job, a new romantic connection, or this is just you feeling like you're having a new start in your life to just make your own rules now, Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups plus the Nine of Cups equals the Ten of Cups. Okay, you see how you just transitioned? And it's all about your, your confidence your confidence. When we're confident in ourselves, when we put our needs first and we have so much self-respect, blessings just come pouring out from the universe. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, there's someone coming towards you, whether it's a business opportunity, a romantic opportunity, uh, there's someone coming towards you with something. What is this Two of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles? What is this Two of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles for Leo? Knight of Cups. For some, this is a romantic connection heading towards you, okay? But you will not notice it at first because you're gonna be more focused on your work and your money, things like that with that Eight of Pentacles to where you're not even gonna see it. And that's what I tell people a lot. When you're looking for love, love seems to be in no, no particular place. But when you're not looking for it, it like follows you. And then I got justice on the bottom. Good karma, wheel of fortune, things turning in your favor, luck being on your side, and you committing yourself to something that you really do value with that hierophant next to it. Whether this is a person, a job, or something else that you really believe your whole heart into. Why is the advice the two of swords with the eight of swords and the ten of wands? Nine of wands. Not giving up. Not giving up even if you feel like you're dealing with people that are just testing you. Just testing you, trying to get you to respond in a negative way or trying to pull you back in old, old patterns and behaviors and you're, you're, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. You're releasing people and places and things that just want to stress you out with that seven of wands energy and you're moving forward with that chariot. You're moving on. Some of you guys might even be traveling or planning a move with that chariot to the four of swords. Okay, to have a new start for yourself after an ending that could lead to a beautiful new beginning with that full energy. All right, just got to use your intuition during this time, Leo. 
All right, I do feel like there's some beautiful changes up ahead for you. So let me pull from my uh, Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. Oh, and I open up to empower yourself. Tune into your personal power, Leo. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. Okay. Leo, what do we have for Leo? Leo. I'll be doing the uh, December monthlies in a few days, okay? Connect to source, number 47. Go within to discover what needs to be done. Create the shift required to attract what you want. Leo, go after what you want. Don't ever settle for less. All right, so I hope this reading helps. I love you guys. Happy holidays. Namaste.